Let me get. Let me. Let me do this, Bozy. So me and Bozy were trying to watch Legends of the Multiverse, and then in this freaking little chapter, me and Bozy uh, basically saw freaking Kagome being like all of the characters that freaking um, Bozy's friend Christine writes for. Basically, they all treat Kagome like shit and make Kagome into this giant bitch. And I just, I mean, I get it. I feel like you shouldn't take out everything on Kagome because at least she actually gets better. If you watch the final line, she gets better. You know? She actually confronts the fact that she's jealous of Kikyo and actually, tr and actually does move past it. You know? What I couldn't stand is the fact that basically, so, Imiyasha basically tells, tells Moroku, Shippo, and Sango to fuck off, when in the actual anime, he says he's happy that he has them as friends. He's happy that he's not alone. He's happy that he actually has people he actually can rely on. That's what I hate. And you know, he got no more born Rogu. You know, he's awesome. He's a, he's always been pretty awesome as a character to me. Because yes, he's a pervert. He's a perverted. He's a perverted. He's he can be a perverted asshole. But at the same time, at the same time, on the other side of that coin, he can be a very thoughtful person when the need arises. It. It's kind of like. It's kind of like. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like it's kind of like Duckman in a sense. You know, Duckman's got his mo moments of pervertedness, don't we all? But you know, he can be he can actually he can actually be meaningful and heartfelt when he needs to be. <sighs> Back to Kagome, on the other hand. Now I understand you straight up love this character. I get it. But why can't you just say? Why can't you just use Iriyasha instead of just? Writing Kagome as this huge fucking bitch, and have your character constantly be in the right. The only the only problem I have with your character, Bugsy don't have a problem because, you know, Bugsy is Bugsy. He's all a case of rah, rah, peace, peace, peace. But I'm like, <laughs> well, yeah, given your own chaotic nature. Oh come on. But yeah, but yeah, but me, I just don't like it because your character doesn't have any flaws whatsoever. I mean, your character's like a little perfect little snowflake. A character is not as good if it, if it doesn't have flaws. So having your holier-than-thou trio basically browbeat Kagome, it's not something I really enjoyed. Personally, I wanted to rip Bugsy's computer in half. But hey, that's the rage talking. <sighs> well, you know, guys, I sit here, I think, I think again, I think some more. But it's, <sighs> you know, guys, I'm gonna get into this because Bugsy, let me just do this. Let me do my own review. Go for it, man. I ain't gonna stop you. Thank you, old friend. I'm gonna point out everything that's wrong with this. From a writing standpoint, from a from a bias standpoint, from every little standpoint there is. Because Bugsy may not be Japanese, but I ain't sort of am, so let me just fill in the blanks here. Kagome is not that thoughtless. 
No, Kagome at least has a heart. She just basically is like... Kagome is not like a thoughtless, heartless person. She wouldn't even say all that shit. Yeah, so she can... I mean, yeah, the thing about Amy is he'll say some fucked up shit back to her and they'll go back and forth. But, like, you... Christine, even I think, yeah. The hatred you have for, like, Kagome in this one chapter is a bit too much. Trust me! It's, it's taking everything I got to hold Yonk back from, you know, just going a little bit crazier than usual. Crazy, Bugsy. I'm not, I'm not crazy, I'm just angry. That ain't even... I mean, you hate Naru, but at least we can actually say that Naru's an actual bitch. Because she is. There's no real redeeming quality to her character. But Kagome, there is. There really is. There actually is. We both know it. Yeah, we do. All I'm saying, man, you gotta admit, when freaking Iwiyasha says, Oh, my... F oh, well, I don't need you. I don't need... I don't need you, Marumbo. I don't need you, Sango. I don't need you, Shibo. Fuck off. You you gotta admit that. You hated that. <sighs> Let me tell you, yes. I, hate, I hated that. I hated that a lot. Because... Because, yes, he says... I don't know, I don't think Christine was watching the same anime we were watching. With actual character development, and then when the final act rolled around, everything, everything wrapped up in a nice little bow. Kagome matured. Iwiyasha was a little bit more trusting around Kagome. And he actually moves on from Kikyo, which he knows he'll never have. So, forgive me and forgive me and Yonk in advance. We just know how Kagome is as a character. Yes, she was immature. Yes, there are a few modes in the actual series where she is pretty dumb. I mean, Iwiyasha basically tries to save her by pushing her back in the well and sealing the well up so she can never come back. You know, and Kagome actually cared for Iyasha. She didn't like. She didn't like Koga. Nothing ever went anywhere with Koga. Like nothing ever did. So, so yeah. Ugh. You know, her friends would be nosy and think that she was with Koga, but that was only the, that was only it. Oh, let's talk about her freaking friends for a minute. <laughs> those are the no those are the nosiest girls I've ever seen. And trust me. I seen some nosy chicks in Tokyo. Yep. Indeed my fa indeed my indeed my otherworldly friend. <sighs> yeah, just let me stick to Legends of the Multiverse Armageddon. At least characters in there are treated a little bit fairly and a little bit unique to their own, you know, and try to stay true to what they are. I mean, that's why I'll, that's why I'll probably never do a love here thing, and if I do, it's just going to be me actually getting a character who actually deserves it. Who I know deserves it. Just saying, Christine, that whole chapter with Kagome getting beat down, browbeated, and basically and basically making it so even Angela Mon's little speeches don't even reach her. I mean, that's kind of fucked up. You just, you basically, I mean, I get it. It's your own little story. It's your own little fantasy. It's what you want. But it's, you know, even I, even I would at least try to make, at least I try to make it go make kind of fair. Because that's what I do. 
I know, you said, if you don't like it, don't watch it, but we felt like we needed to say it. Well, Bugsy felt like, well, I felt like I needed to say it. Bugsy just sat there and was like, no, yonk, no, yonk. And, but, like, you didn't hear him when you just made Inuyasha kind of disregard Shippo, Sango, and Moroku. Oh, he said some choice things. Shut up, yonk. Hey, I'm just saying. I think we'll be the next. I think we'll be the next. Uh, she'll probably get like our character pictures, and uh, we'll probably be the next uh, bits on her punching bag. Uh, that will never. It'll never come to that. Because you. Because you'd. Re, because we'd retaliate. No, we wouldn't retaliate. Jesus, Bugsy. Even though you. You know, that's the thing. You still go easy on her, man. <sighs> How is she able to grow as a freaking writer if you can't be a little bit more critical on her out of everybody else? <sighs> Yonk. There's some people you can be cynical to. Other people you can't. Honestly... I do, I am very, 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 very disappointed on how that, how Legend of the Multiverse turned out, and how you just basically turn, you turn Kagome into a huge bitch when she really isn't. It just kind of irked me. And, Yonk, on the other hand, he was like, Yonk, how do you feel? <sighs> Not as so disappointed because if you hate that character you hate that character but you didn't even try to represent her fairly she's just be she's just fuck she's just fucking a bitch to everybody just because you will it I feel like that's kind of that's unfair to her character that's all I gotta say now me and Bugsy are gonna chill out because God dang, it's Friday, it's Friday, me and Bungie have a lot of uh, good things to do since I'm back in the fray, so we're going to just have a little fun. To the, to the rest of you, I want to say this, if you're going to write a character, write them fairly. Do not take out your anger, your personal anger, and personal frustration. Oh, not a character that actually does try to be better and just watch the full story. Now, certain characters Bugsy finds annoying are annoying, but he doesn't think they're bad. Well, not all the way. Naruto's not bad. Chi Chi, on the other hand, that's kind of debatable for both sides. You know. But Naruto totally is. But we're gonna go now. See you guys later. I'm Bug I'm Bugsy the Chaotic Soul And I'm and I'm Yonky B, the ghost of Osaka. Giving you a big huge also See you guys later. <sighs> I get Bugsy before we Bugsy, what do you wanna eat today? Uh well heart well Antigmar's cooking chicken. Chicken wings? Yeah. And fries? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Are they done? No, oh, that's why I'm still waiting. I had an egg McMuffin, I'm still hungry. <sighs> well, uh, you owe me a whole bunch of beef balls, you know that? Just for sitting through that travesty of a freaking bit, of a freaking chapter. Why do I have to pay? Why do I have to pay you in beef balls? You know why. We had to sit there, and we had to take this. So you had to pay up. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'll pay up. Jesus. But Jesus, next time, you pay for your own people's, my friend. <sighs> All right. All right. But, but again, Christine, we just kind of are disappointed in that one freaking chapter because it was just you getting your little revenge on Kagome 
for a ha for, for a handful of occasions where she was a little bit immature, but like she grew into a better person. But yeah, someone didn't watch the final act. True that. See you guys later.